Hello everyone, welcome back to Learning English Pro. I'm Jer, your online tutor and guide. Today we're diving into the world of mortgages and exploring some essential mortgage terms. Whether you're a first time home buyer or simply looking to understand the process better, this video is for you. The complete word list and definitions for this video are waiting for you in the video description if you want to revise or follow along. Our first term is the subject of our video, mortgage. A mortgage is a legal agreement between a borrower and a lender, typically a bank, that allows the borrower to obtain funds to purchase a home. The property itself serves as collateral for the loan, and the borrower makes regular payments including principal and interest until the loan is paid off. Next up we have principal. The principal is the initial amount borrowed in a mortgage. It's the base amount on which interest is calculated. Over time, as you make payments, the principal balance decreases. Moving on to interest rates. This is the cost of borrowing money, expressed as a percentage. It determines how much you'll pay in interest over the life of your mortgage. Interest rates can be fixed or adjustable. A fixed rate mortgage has a consistent interest rate throughout the life of the loan. It offers stability and predictable monthly payments. On the other hand, an adjustable rate mortgage or a variable rate mortgage has an interest rate that may change periodically. It often starts with a lower rate but can increase over time. The fixed rate period in an adjustable rate mortgage is the initial period during which the interest rate remains fixed before it begins to adjust periodically. Let's move on to down payment. The down payment is the initial amount paid by the home buyer when purchasing a property. It's typically a percentage of the home's purchase price and a larger down payment often leads to more favourable mortgage terms. Our next term is amortisation. It's the process of paying off your mortgage over time through regular payments, which include both principal and interest. Over the life of the loan, the proportion of principal and interest in each payment changes. Let's discuss escrow. An escrow account is set up to hold funds for property taxes and insurance. Part of your monthly mortgage payment goes into this account to ensure these expenses are paid when due. Next up, closing costs. These are fees and expenses associated with finalizing a mortgage and the purchase of a home. Closing costs include charges for services such as appraisal, title search and legal fees. If you're interested in learning lots more related English vocabulary, check the links on screen and in my video description. On my channel, I have lots of English vocabulary videos relating to banking, finance, investments, real estate and lots more. Let's get back to our lesson and our next term is pre-approval. This is a crucial step in the home buying process. It is a preliminary assessment by the lender that determines how much you can borrow. This helps you understand your budget and increases your chances when buying a new home. PMI, or private mortgage insurance, is insurance that lenders require from borrowers who make a down payment of less than 20%. It protects the lender in case the borrower defaults on the loan. Refinance refers to the process of obtaining a new mortgage to replace an existing one. It's often done to secure a better interest rate or to change the terms of the loan. Our next term is equity. Your equity is the portion of your home's value that you own outright. 
It's the difference between the home's current market value and the outstanding balance on your mortgage. An appraisal is a professional assessment of a property's value. It's often required by lenders to ensure the property's worth is sufficient to cover the loan amount. Foreclosure is a legal process in which a lender takes possession of a property due to the borrower's failure to meet their mortgage obligations. It typically leads to the sale of the property to recover the loan amount. Our next term is closing disclosure. This is a document provided to the borrower at least three days before the mortgage closing. It outlines the final terms and costs of the loan, ensuring transparency in the transaction. Title insurance is a policy that protects the homeowner and the lender from financial loss due to disputes or defects in the property's title. It ensures that the property has a clear and marketable title. The mortgage origination fee is a charge imposed by the lender to cover the cost of processing and underwriting the loan. It's typically a percentage of the loan amount. A home equity line of credit is a type of loan that allows homeowners to borrow against the equity in their home. It provides a flexible source of funds that can be drawn upon as needed. Understanding these mortgage terms is crucial for making informed decisions when buying a home. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and share with anyone navigating the world of mortgages. Delve deeper into this subject and click here for a lesson on real estate. And click here for a lesson on renting in the United States of America. That's all for now folks, thanks for joining me today and remember, keep learning English like a pro.